Hey Virgos, welcome to Tower on Hill. Welcome to your June reading. Okay, let's get started. I come to you, humble God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light and divine love in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Virgo Collective need to know for June? What is the overall theme? This is a Threads of Fate Oracle deck, by the way. All the decks that I use are listed in the description box. Oh, we have play. It's time to play in June. We have the Wildling. And I, I, I always think of the song, Wild Thing, damn it, when this when this card comes out, Wildling. All right. It's time for you to actually be a little bit more lighter, be more playful, flirt, enjoy, you know, things like that. Just go outside, be, maybe, you know, buy something that's a little bit irresponsible. You know, just let go, be a little bit lighter. All right. All right, so what about the first half of June? What's going on? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this doesn't resonate, check out your other signs, your other placements, okay? We have laugh at your demons and be open to love. Okay, if you're if you're guilting yourself into because of some certain things that you don't like about yourself, so what? We're all shitty. Did you know that? <laughs> We all have shitty traits, okay, as humans. All right, just laugh at it. Laugh at it. Be light. Don't take yourself so seriously, all right? In doing so, that type of energy is going to be attractive to people. It'll just attract. Not saying it's going to be an... I mean, it is an attractive trait, but I mean that energy within itself is attractive to the, the universe and its manifestations, right? Being lighter and not conquering down too much on anything, it's going to be an attractor, an attractor, right? It, okay, I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am off the Richter today. I'm sorry. Okay. It's like a magnet. That's what I'm trying to say. Jesus Christ. All right. Now I have to look up a track door if that really makes sense. Let's just start this over. This already started off off the rails. Um, But you know what? I'm being playful and I guess that is a, that is the energy that you're supposed to have right now because I wasn't this playful when um before I tapped into your energy. So I don't know. I guess that's what's happening here. Leading by example of some shit. I don't know. All right, here we go. <laughs> we have the Empress card coming out, all right? Along with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you're stepping into your truth. You're stepping into your power. This is power right here. You are in your power. You know who you are. You know what you want. Now, listen, just because it's um, an Empress doesn't mean that it's, um, it, it's not gender specific, right? It's just the energy that someone's embodying. We do have the Strength card coming out. What else do we have here? We have the Nine of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and the Fool. Jesus, this is beautiful. Now, the only thing that I'm concerned about is the fact that the, the Strength card is coming out in reverse. But with all these cards coming out, with the Nine of Pentacles coming out upright, which is a card of being single, happy, loving it, entertaining yourself, um, having fun, being flirtatious, maybe going out on the scene, you know, as much as you can during this time, right? We have the Wheel of Fortune, which is about an upgrade. And then the Fool card, which is about a major, like a leap of faith. You're stepping into a brand new cycle. You're leveling the F up. Let's go, Virgo. Now, the thing is, the strength card here, I'm not sure if maybe you guys are becoming less resistant. Let's see what's going on. Oh, it is. Yeah. But the five of wands that just popped out, it's like dropping a conflict. So here's what I want to say. With the Empress card, this is an energy of um, just being more receptive to the universe as opposed to the Emperor, which is, you know, um, more of someone who's more of the aggressor, you know, they have, and it's in a good way, in a healthy way. They know what to, they know what they want. You use this Empress energy to receive intuitive hits, to receive the guidance. Okay. And then switch into Emperor mode to actually, um, fulfill whatever it is that you want to fulfill. Okay. So some of you guys are in this cool, chill, receptive mode, or you will be in June. Okay. Um, this strength card coming out in a verse, it just feels more like you're dropping the fight. You're not being as hard anymore. Okay. Maybe you're being, you're letting your guards down a little bit more or you're being led to. Once again, play. All right. That is the theme for you guys. Okay. Well, this is beautiful. What else is going on for Virgos? This is a great reading. 
I mean, you know what? Because it's been a long time coming, all right? It's been a long time coming for Virgos, and I'm so happy. I feel like we're finally here. Oh, King of Wands. All right, King of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles coming out. This can be like a new, um, this could be a new friendship. This could be a new offer. It's something tangible, though, okay? It's, it, this could be a new opportunity opening up, something that you manifested. The thing that you wanted to manifest is finally about to come through. Holy cow. Oh, I was so tired of this, this baby soul made thing, I tell you. And I'm a Virgo rising, so I'm right there with y'all, okay? Knight of Pentacles, coming out in reverse, okay? It's coming out in reverse because... Whoa. Hold on. Nope. Let's see what's going on there. Why is that Knight of Pentacles coming out in reverse? Five of Wands coming out with the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, yes. Four of Wands, yes. There's still some type of blockage here. We'll look more into that. No problem. Whatever. All right. Um, but we do have the Queen of Pentacles here, which is that Beyonce card. I like to call it the Beyonce card because you could take care of the ho the house, you could take care of the bedroom, you could take care of the boardroom. You know, you got it all going on. This person is self sufficient. They're standing on their own too. They got it. They got it like that, okay? That is the energy here that's beautiful. But the Four of Wands, stable. That's what you're moving into, okay? We do have the Five of Wands, that dropping of the conflict once again. But then the Ace of Wands here, oh, okay. This is coming as a result of closing out a door, closing out a, another, um, closing out one opportunity and then it opens up your stability. That's what happens there. All right, why is this Ace of Swords here? Or that could be one that's pending, actually. Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's like finding the truth out about, like, just realizing the, the nature of the cycle that you were in. Recognizing that you were in a cycle, now that you're coming from this vantage point of Empress Energy, now you can look back as, at who you were and what you tolerated and then um, act accordingly, you know? Don't be, so back to, like, laugh at your demons, right? Don't, um, don't guilt trip yourself about it. Um, don't look back at the situation and say, oh my God, I'm so stupid. How did I deal with this? You know, don't, don't waste your time with that. I, I do feel some of that energy coming through because you have all this bomb ass energy coming through. Like the nine of pentacles with the, the, the wheel of fortune and the full card. All right. There's no looking back. That cycle is done. It's done, done, done. Okay. It's all good. All right. Let's see what the blockage is though. What is a blockage? What are they failing to see? And the advice. Oh my gosh, Virgos. We're finally there. Finally made it, man. All right. That's a blockage. <clears throat> What's a blockage for Virgos? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of cups in reverse. Ten of wands in reverse. Holy cow. Closing chapters. You have to wrap it up. You still have some people lingering. You got to wrap it up. Whoa. We have the three tens right now. What's the only one we're missing? Ten of wands. Oh, and that... Oh, no. That didn't come out. Okay. No, wait. That is the ten of wands. The ten of swords, which had already came out. All right, this is the end. This is a major ending. Holy cow, you guys should be so excited. You guys should be so excited. This is coming out as a blockage though. You didn't, you're not recognizing that, recognizing this ending as such. You're not seeing it. You're still hung up on the past. You're still hung up on what people did. You're hung up on how you treated the situation. You're hung up on, oh my gosh, I was so stupid for this. You know, you're hung up on this and it's just like holding you back. Tie it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. You got some beautiful things coming. That's it. That's done. You're just like looking at like a, you're looking at the credits now <laughs> of a movie that's completely over. Okay. It's over. Make the decision. Two of wands here. It's time to look ahead. This is all about planning, making decisions, planning your foundation. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. This is beautiful. Okay. Um, what are they feeling to see? 
What are they feeling to say? Yeah, you're holding yourself back by looking back. All right, Will of Fortune, you're holding yourself back. Five of arrows. Okay, people were shitty. People did things. Seven of five of uh, five of arrows. Both of these are the the crappy, deceptive cards. Okay, fine. You might feel a little bit defeated because of that, because of what you went through. It's fine. Go through the healing process, but wrap it up as soon as you can. All right. You're looking. You're looking at the loss like. All right. They're the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool card. These two cards came out in the beginning, like boom, boom, boom. This is what you're about to walk into. But this is what you're failing to see. You don't see this upgrade that's right around the corner because you're still caught up. You might be holding grudges. You might just be, you know, just overthinking the situation. That's already over. Like, why would they do this to me? Are they going to come back? And it's just a dead situation. Super dead. With the 10, 10, 10s here. Holy cow. Whatever you thought was your ideal, that's about to be restructured. Whatever you thought was stable, that's about to be restructured. And this burden, this 10 of wands, you're about to drop that. That's a burden. Okay? It's a burden. Please let it go. Holy cow, we're right there. You guys waited a long time to get here. And when it comes, don't sit here and miss it because you're 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 looking back. You're still looking at something else. You're about to let that thing pass you by. Come on now. Mm -mm. All right, what's the advice? I've been saying this for I don't know how many readings. Virgos is about to come into something crazy, beautiful, and now it's about to finally pop. You're going to see a seed, at least a little bit. You're going to see a little bit where it's just like, okay. All right, finally. Finally, we're getting somewhere, okay? Um, you're going to see that, all right? But you you can miss it. It can just be as simple as like if this is a love situation. And I do feel like it's just an overall um, upgrade for you guys. But let's say if it's a love situation, you might be so focused on baby soulmate, for example, that you don't realize that you just met a friend, right? Let's say you met a friend and you didn't realize that that person is the, the next person. <coughs> or this person has a job opportunity for you. Here we go. Navigator, along with the death card here, okay? These are double cards here about moving forward. This is about a death and rebirth. Moving into a brand new cycle. You are closing out. The movie is over. These tens, the movie is over. This is beautiful. We have the Hierophant with the Empress. Oh my God. The Hierophant with the Empress coming out here. You are leveling up. You have a beautiful new perspective, a new vantage point. One that's coming from a place of a higher level thinking. Okay. A spiritually led way of thinking. You're intuitively guided. Okay, that's what you're stepping into. Allow yourself to be this empress. The empress is not looking back. All right? The empress receives. Mm -mm, you're not waiting for anyone. Mm -mm. Especially somebody who was deceiving you. Now, let's say you, you, you got over this person. Well, you didn't. You didn't because that's what's the cards. But let's say you are no longer talking to this person, but you're still going over it. You're thinking about them way too much. That's what's happening here. All right. And it's actually holding you back. Let's look more into that Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're still dealing with the pain of it. All right. Just go through the healing. It's fine. Just don't wallow in it. Wrap it up. <laughs> All right, easy said than done. I know, I know. I'm going through it, so it's fine. Um, wow, okay. I mean, overall, this is a very fortunate, beautiful reading. Um, it's just, it, it's a, it's like, and look at this with the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, that opportunity of a new passion, new passionate, new start, which is whether it's a career or love, but... This has a feeling of like, choose but choose behind curtain one or curtain two, right? And you don't realize what's behind the curtain, you know? You don't realize what's behind the curtain. So you're about to just say, no, I'm not going to choose either. I'm just going to stay right here and keep the money that I have, right? That type of energy. 
What show is that? Price is Right. That's crazy. All right. But I mean, I get it. If you don't see what you're coming into, it's kind of hard to actually be optimistic, but you're being called to be optimistic. You know what you're stepping into. You knew it from the beginning of the year. Please check out the Virgo um, 2020, actually, the, the 2020 yearly reading. Okay. Um, I did an annual, um, I mean, a, a 2020 year reading for the year. Oh, my energy is so frantic. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I guess I'm picking up on this. I don't know. I definitely wasn't like this before I tapped into your energy. So this is very interesting. <laughs> Check out the 2020 review. Okay. It does talk about all the things that you guys are going to come into. All right. It seems like mid month, uh, mid year. Here we are. And you're stepping into it. <sighs> okay. There might be a lot of anxiety here. And that's why someone's taking something way too seriously. And that's why you got to just chill out. There's a need to chill. Do something out of the ordinary. What's that wild thing <laughs> that you want to do? Do you want to change your hair? I don't know. Whatever it is that you want to do. Get that tattoo. Maybe not right now. But there's a need to step out and do something totally different now. Just to break the cycle and get yourself out of your head. All right, can you take like a weekend trip? No, that's probably not, probably not a good idea, but you get what I'm saying. We have paid attention to the red flags, the signs of cautioning you. You're still holding on, okay, so that will be a lesson to learn, right? You're still looking over the situation, some of you guys, you're still looking at the situation, playfulness at the bottom of the deck. You're still looking at the situation, probably, probably baby soulmate, and trying to calculate everything and how it played out all right what were the red flags that i overlooked listen it's fine if you overlook them before trust and believe you are in empress mode and you will not get fooled again okay i feel like that's what's happening you just want to make sure you got everything you didn't you didn't miss anything from this situation you didn't miss any lesson from the situation you're already in empress mode so now you're just like overdoing it Okay, it's like becoming a little bit obsessive in your thinking. You gotta chill. All right, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Have fun. Be playful. If you have a love interest, flirt. It doesn't have to be that serious. Just flirt. Have fun. Okay. Holy cow. I get it. I mean, you guys are dealing with baby soulmate for, but because you were dealing with baby soulmate for so long, that's why you should just chill out. You know, just have fun. Okay. <laughs> Let go of control issues. Holy cow. Yes. All right. Codependency. Wow. Okay. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. All right. <sighs> this and the control issues, I feel like, goes hand in hand. It's just not trusting the universe. You're not trusting yourself. You need the validation from other people to make you feel like you did the right thing or that you um, can trust your own judgment. You are in a place where you can trust your own judgment. You need to believe that, okay? Nobody's going to give you that closure or validation. You need to know that for yourself now. And play. Don't be afraid to play because you're scared that you're going to make the wrong decision again. All right? All right. <sighs> what is the animal spirit? power animal for Virgo <laughs> you guys got me mad like <laughs> I don't know why I'm like so like giddy but I mean it makes sense play play so I guess that's the energy you're gonna be in time to heal snake spirit but listen it doesn't have to be that crazy of a process right you can still have fun you don't have to say okay First, I'm going to heal, and that's all I'm going to do, and then I'm going to find my spouse. No, heal. We're all healing. We're all shitty kind of people. We all have our shadows, okay? We're all in our process of healing. You could still play while you're in this process, okay? It's all right. Okay, Hawk Spirit. Spirit, let Spirit be your guide, all right? Um, yeah, so like I said, like you might... Yeah, you might. Uh, it's an opportunity coming through. All right. Just keep your eyes peeled. It might be unassuming. It might just seem like a chance meeting. 
all right something that'll bring a great opportunity whether it's money or love or just fun it could just be fun right it doesn't have to be that crazy starfish yeah look at that be open to the opportunities okay open to infinite possibilities out of spirit you are never alone look at that this is like soulmate energy too it's beautiful also know that spirit got your back all right spirit is here with you all right wombat spirit be at home look it's time. It's time for you to be fabulous, loving it, single, happy, mastering the art of singledom. Okay. You don't, and it could be a fun process. You still, like I said, that's an attractor. <laughs> if that's the word, I totally have to look this up, but that's an attracting force. It's a magnetic force. There we go. That was a word. It's a magnetic force being playful, being lighthearted. It's a magnetic force for your manifestations. Okay. Because you're allowing for the universe to step in as you just take a load off all right you're, you're you're allowing room for magic to to um come through into your life all right so be more playful make this intention set this intention for june to just kind of let it go do something a little bit wild and crazy whatever that is for you okay um obviously in the healthiest manner be safe all that good stuff okay let's see what the prayer is <laughs> Oh, man, this is crazy. Oh, look at that. Spend more time outdoors. Yeah, just have fun. Okay, do you like looking at the stars? Look at the stars. Oh, Virgo. Yeah, earthy energy. Lay in some grass, man. Hug a tree. <laughs> All right, get more in touch with nature. Get more grounded because I feel like some people are just very obsessive and they're very much in their head. They're... um. They're ruminating on something that's completely dead already, you know, and it's just like now it's just overkill. All right. Which is a typical, you know, no shade, but that's how Virgos move. All right. Um, once again, I'm a Virgo rising. I get it. But you have to know when to snap out of it. Okay. There's one thing if you reflect on the past and you get the wisdom and you get the lessons from and you learn the lessons. Then there's another thing if you sit in that and you park there. And you stay there and you don't move on. It seems like you guys are parking in that, all right? In the mistakes that you might have made in the past with, you know, um, let's say if you thought, if you think you made like a, a bad judgment call, you might be wallowing in that, all right? It's time to let that go, all right? Okay. I want to pull from the Rebel deck. Oh, look at that. Okay. Of course. Of course you got this, Virgo. Of course, a favorable outcome. Did you see all those cards that came out in the beginning? Like, boom, 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 Wheel of Fortune, okay? Ten of Cups, whatever the cards were that came out. It was beautiful, okay? A favorable outcome. This is what you're going into, Wheel of Fortune. You are upgrading. You can't see it because you're too, you're, 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 you're looking back, all right? You're looking back. You're staring at something that's just a ghost at this point. You're staring at the ghosts of the past and it just, it, it does not affect you now. It has no effect on you. All right. Make a commitment. When you decide to move on, make the commitment to do so. Be open to love. Be playful. Okay. Be forgiving. Be compassionate with yourself. Okay. You deserve that compassion. Whew. All right. You got me running out of breath. All right, Virgo. That was it. That was a very lively reading. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this June flirty, playful energy. Just you deserve it. Okay. You deserve it. You went through some things, man. All right. All right. Hit me up. Let me know what's up. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Add me on IG. That's Taryn Hill. Also, um, I do personal readings. Check out the info box below. Also, if you'd like to be an angel donor, um, you can check out the uh, Patreon link in the description box. All right. Until we meet again. Peace.